Greetings again, everyone. Sir Morgan here from the technical department. Today, I'll be showing you how to construct a triangle when given the base, one base angle, and the altitude of the triangle. I will now border my paper. We will now construct our triangle given a base, a base angle, and the altitude. The length of the base, BC, is going to measure 100 millimeters. I will now draw this line, BC. I will now outline my 100 millimeters and label the BC line. Now the angle given is a 30 degree angle from point B. So B to a point and the angle given is 30 degree. So we will now need to construct a 60 degree and bisect. In order to do so, we will put our compass at point B and scribe an arc from the BC line. We will now place our compass where this arc intersected the BC line and scribe another arc to cut this first arc we just drew. Now if I should have drawn a line from B through the intersection of these two arcs then that angle would have been a 60 degree angle. So what I can do is that I can now bisect this 60 degree by using this point and also this point. I will now draw a line from B through the intersection of these two arcs. I will label the end of I will label the end of this line D. Now we are given an altitude of 60 millimeters. The altitude of the triangle is the measurement from the base to the top of our triangle. So the altitude is the measurement from the base, which is BC, to the top of the triangle. Basically how high the triangle is going to be. The altitude given is 60 millimeters. We will now need to construct a line 60 millimeters away from this BC line, right? A parallel line 60 millimeters away, and we will call this line EF. In order to construct this line 60 millimeters away and parallel, we will open our compass to 60 millimeters. And we will scribe arcs above this line, BC. So 
So our compass center will be on the BC line at all times. Now what we will do is that we will draw a construction line on top of the arcs. We can label this construction line EF. And if we take measurements from the BC line to this, to this line EF, we should get our 60 millimeters. There you see we are getting our 60 millimeters from this line to this BC line, to this EF line, sorry. Now, the point where the EF line and the BD line, so the BD line and the EF line, they intersect each other at this point. We will label this point A. I will now outline my required triangle. And I will now draw a line from A C. Okay, so this angle right here is a 30 degree angle. The length of BC is 100 millimeters. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.